girl Marin Sierra. Oh my god, I don't know how to do YouTube anymore. It's been a whole year, so I apologize if I'm like effing up and woo woo woo. But this is gonna be a Q and A for my channel, basically like my return video. And we're gonna do it like brunch style with fruit, and we got the sparkle inside because we can't i can't drink real alcohol and by me not being able to drink real alcohol basically we got a new addition to the family which is drum roll please wait can you even take it we got a baby it's a baby in there a old baby. it's a baby in there a four pound baby probably more than that by now we got dad up in there. Wouldn't show y'all the dad, but he sleep. He gotta go to work. Mm -hmm. But uh, she got asked me a few questions, and we're really just gonna talk and da 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 da. And I know y'all remember her, your mm -hmm. channel, Big Telly, not the little Telly. You feel me, Sean Telly West? I think it's my channel name, y'all. I haven't been on YouTube neither, but we'll link it below. We've been slacking. We've been having life going on. Slacking. And we gonna slacking. update y'all. But we didn't did everything we said we was gonna do, so y'all will see soon. Yes. While we've been absent. nobody lives in Colorado anymore, and literally nobody. We are not in Colorado even in this video, but we'll get into that. I forgot my teeth are sore. She changed my braces. She mm -hmm. put a what is it called? Power chain. Power chain, y'all. Or my teeth are like. I be doing sore. braces. Clear her up if you're in the Houston area. Mm -hmm. How much you charging? You gotta do a D-bond, which is taking your braces off, is eighty dollars. An adjustment, changing your color, power chain, tightening your wires is forty-five. Get into it. You're not gonna beat them prices because a D-bond at the shop is six hundred plus. I paid six thousand when I was going to the uh, white phone. Yeah, so maybe yeah. I get up. But um, what kind of questions do they got for me? Yeah. I had did a um. I posted a QA and a on my Instagram and my Facebook, which was a while back. And I lost a lot of the questions. And, you know, on Instagram, when your story deletes, basically, I lost that information with those questions. So, I only got the ones from Facebook. So, it's going to be very few questions and mostly us just talking or whatever. Okay. Yeah. The first question is, what is your favorite clothing brand? My favorite clothing brand? Um, my favorite clothing brand actually used to be Charlotte Russe. If y'all know about Charlotte Russe, that was my, that was my go-to. But now, it's mainly been Fashion Nova. Just because you don't really got nothing else to choose from, honestly. Yeah. I will say Pretty Little Thing, they have a lot of cute stuff, but they always seem in the wrong size. So... I'm gonna go with Fashion Nova. Damn sure I ain't gonna say no designer. Cause that'll be a lot. Yeah. Okay. Right. Oh yeah, what's your favorite clothing one? To be honest. I, I forgot about Shein. Shein. Yeah, yeah Shein. Shein. Shein is winning right now because the prices and as long as you look at the reviews and look at the pictures of like what, cause they always post pictures of like them mm -hmm. wearing it and it's not BBL bodies, it's realistic. Mm -hmm. So Shein is winning for me, I love Shein. That is true. They post natural bodies versus mm -hmm. Fashion Nova post the paid bodies. Yeah. No disrespect to them. I mean, I want my yeah, body done. Want but, yeah. And Fashion Nova can be having a lot of the same shit that she mm -hmm. be having. Yeah, though. I be a lot of stuff from Shein is on Fashion Nova. And cheaper. So, mm -hmm. The next question is, are you living out some of your childhood dreams? Um... Yes, honestly, because everybody wants to move away. I always said that when I became an adult, I would never live in Alabama, which is where I'm from. And since I've been an adult, I haven't lived in Alabama. I currently live in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, so that'll be one thing. Um, it was to go to college and graduate. I did accomplish that. Um, and I basically have a family and I have started that process. Um, I'm due January 7th. She probably won't come way before that. And we're currently looking to buy a house. So, I would say I am. I ain't rich, but. You're rich. I'm, 
I'm reaching. Happy, happy, yeah. Okay. Next, we have, what is this your first child? Mm -hmm. to answer. Do you Perfect. want more? Not gonna lie, I do want one more. But I'm probably gonna wait a year or two before I have that one. And then it's gonna be done. I'm gonna be two and done, not the one and done. Um, I'm pregnant with a girl right now. So I hope I have a boy so I can have the boy and the girl. And then, yeah, I'm done after that. No more. So you kind of answered the next question. was, do you want a girl or a boy? Um... Do you know what you're having? Was it planned or unexpected? Oh, this was not planned. Mm -hmm. This was very unexpected. Let me give y'all a little backstory. So my grandma, if I have the text me, no, she called me. So I don't have text messages. My grandma called me one day. This was back in March. And she had a dream about fish. And she asked me, she said, are you pregnant? I'm like, no, everybody knows Miranda don't get pregnant. No, I don't do that. I was like, no, not me. I was like, try somebody else. So she was like, okay, da 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 da. So she calling all my other cousins, trying to see if they're pregnant. I actually do have a cousin that's pregnant, but she's not like immediate family. So my grandma was like, I don't think it would be her that I dreamed about. So we left with a long blah 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 blah. Maybe two weeks later, I was on the phone with my boyfriend, and I was like. I think I need about a pregnancy test. I was like, some, some, some about my body just don't feel right. So I got home. Well, I went to Walmart, took the pregnancy test, came home, took it. I left it in the bathroom because I knew it was going to say not pregnant or whatever. So I took it in then just forgot about it. I went, watched TV. It was probably like two hours before I checked the stick. Y'all, I freaking came back and that fucking stick said pregnant. And I was like, what the fuck? And I had to call my grandma and I was like, I'm the person with the fish. <laughs> like, I'm the dream. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Told her she didn't even believe me. She just now is believing me. Since barely. she rubbed my belly. Still barely, yeah. But yeah. Yeah, I thought it was a prank. Because the way she told me, y'all, she just said it like, I don't remember. She said something like, I think I may be pregnant. I was like, why you think that? Like, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> like, stop. You know, mom. I don't know. I bought a test, but I'm like, bought a test, whatever. She's like, then she just went to the bathroom and she was like, no, she's taking me. She said, it's a pregnant, bro. <laughs> I said, girl, please. So then she recorded a video and she's like, see, I'm not making it up. This is literally her expression. See, I'm not making it up. It says pregnant. I'm like, bro, this has been lying, bro. Do you have any names picked out? Mm hmm. Since I was a little girl, I've been in love with the name Madison. I don't know why. That just always been a name I love. I wish my name was Madison. Um, so that's what I'm naming her. And then it's gonna be Madison J. And my that's my brother's name, J. And if you know my brother, he passed away or whatever. And I just wanted to incorporate that into her name, Madison J. And her name is spelled M-A-D-I-S-Y-N, not S-O-N. So yeah, her name will be Madison J. Love that. Um, what do you feel is the most important thing a partner should do to support the mother during pregnancy? Honestly, a lot of emotional support. Just be very understanding of my emotions. Because I am bipolar since I've been pregnant. And thankfully, I have a partner who is very, 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 very patient. Um, he He keeps me sane. I'll say that. So I think that's the most important thing. And then um, he works almost seven days a week, but he still makes time to go to my appointments and give me anything that I need because I don't like to go nowhere. I don't even like to go get my nails done. These are press on. <laughs> I don't like to do nothing no more. But thankfully I got somebody who do everything that I don't want to do for myself. What has been the hardest part of your pregnancy so far? Oh, that first trimester. Mm -hmm. Um, I had basically all the symptoms. Was in love with spicy food, and I hate spicy food. Yeah, that was weird. Mm -hmm. I have tailbone pain, lower back pain. She doesn't like when I brush my teeth. I throw up when I brush my teeth. She doesn't like sugar in the morning, so I can't drink anything. Well, I can't drink juice in the morning. I'll throw it up. 
She don't like spaghetti. She don't like a lot of cheese. That's another hard thing. Oh, and getting out the bed. Cause I have to pee like every 30 minutes and getting out the bed has been hard because of that lower back pain and stuff. But overall, I would say the lower back pain and tailbone pain is the hardest. And then I experienced the Braxton Hicks contractions and that shit almost killed me. So I know I'll be getting an epidural because I was in here doing breathing exercises and everything and that shit. Yeah, that shit was horrible. What are you most nervous about being a mom? Oh, I thought you were about to say labor because I was about to say shit on myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, just I never want her to see me down, I always want to be strong for her at all times. Um, so even if I'm having a bad day, I don't ever want to show that to her because I do know <clears throat> that babies feed off of emotions and stuff. So, I don't want my bad day to affect her. I always want her to see me strong and happy. Damn, I sound so fucking mature. Yeah, you do. I never thought I'd be talking like this. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of some off the top of my head as I was. Oh, that's the end of the question because I lost a lot of the questions. Oh, wait, let me think of one. But my food got cold, but it's still good. Yeah, it's good. So, Do you eat green melon? Mm, sometimes. I like the orange one. I used to hate it. I mean, my taste buds is changing, like you said. Oh, I think those are at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Oh, those are cantaloupes. Yeah. How do you do this? It's good, actually. It's not bad. I used to hate melons, but I liked watermelon always. Y'all like watermelon, but I don't like all that other shit. Well, I like watermelon and pineapples and grapes. I don't like all that mm. other shit. I don't even like strawberries. Me either, because that TikTok shit. When, you remember when the stuff about strawberries first came out? Like soaking them in the water. And oh, stuff? yeah, all the stuff that comes out of mm. them. Mm. That mm. is disgusting. But, um, oh, mm. she was supposed to record a video. Um, um mm -hmm. I forgot. I forgot what it was supposed to be about. My reaction when I found out you were pregnant. Yeah. So, how do you feel about me being pregnant? And knowing that it's actually real now. Yeah, knowing that it's real, I'm like emotional. I don't know why, because I'm not an emotional person. But even yesterday, like when we walked into the baby shower, my eyes started watering up. I'm like, mm -hmm. my friend is really pregnant. It's just weird. Because she's like, I'm not going to cry. I'm choking on my baby. <laughs> But my eyes is watering up, but y'all know I'm not no kind baby ass bitch, but because I've been friends with her for so long and I remember at one point like she wanted to be pregnant and we just felt like that probably wasn't going to be able to happen or she felt like it was, wasn't going to be able to happen. So she used to be like down about that. So she just always treated my kids good and everyone's kids good. Like I don't like kids. I love my kids, but when it comes to other people's kids, she just always went the extra mile like to be like there. Like my kids love her anybody's kids that be around her love her so i just feel happy because now she gets to pour that love into her own kid and it's going to be like 10 times more than like how she loves other people's kids which is already mm. like she already loves them so much so i just feel excited for her to go on this journey and especially because she's having a girl like y'all know miranda be dressing i got her this little fit and it said like mini influencer <laughs> oh yeah it's so YouTube. cute She's bought so, so many clothes and toys so and stuff. I am excited for that because I just know she's going to be having her so cute all the time. I just, it's going to be like goals. Like literally yeah. what we'd be seeing on the internet. So yeah, I'm happy for you. And I'm glad you have a partner that, like you said, I love him and he treats you good. And I just feel like it's going to be very good for you and everything's going to go smoothly. I hope so. <laughs> the only, and I was just telling her, the only thing I've been nervous about with being pregnant is just pushing her out and pooping on myself because oh i was my telling God. her i'm like when i get nervous i get like bubble guts for some reason not so i've been trying to stop that's literally the only thing i'm nervous about i feel like i got the part with when it comes to pushing i don't know yeah. and i just hope it be fast i don't want to be in no labor like two days like that shit did because i heard as long as you're in labor you can't eat yeah you can't so I don't got time for that, yeah. but 
Yeah, cause I, I'm not gonna cap. I didn't eat for a minute. And my first meal, just, mm -mm. Then they went to Qdoba. And I can smell mm. it now just thinking about it. Like, mm, made me want to die. That shit was so fucking nasty. It stinks so bad. <laughs> so if you don't, but my, I, would, I didn't eat for like almost, I was in labor for a minute, like some days, like quite a few days. Yeah. Like, I just had apple juice and shit. I'm already skinny, y'all, so I was in there from dying. But now labor will go quick, and then you're gonna get an epidural, so. Yeah, because, um, I, I have very low pain tolerance, so I know I can't handle it. I'm gonna wrap up this video. I may do another video. Who knows? But, um, I'll catch y'all later. Um, follow me. On Instagram at Miranda Sierra. Well, y'all should already have it. And on Snapchat, that's where I keep everything updated about my pregnancy. If you want to follow me on my journey, if y'all want my registry, you're more than welcome to that as well. <laughs> I'll post that too. And yeah, thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for not leaving because a lot of y'all have not unsubscribed. I done actually gained more subscribers. So. Keep hanging in there with me and I'll catch y'all in the next video.